I love coming back to you with videos that are special and uh, that after watching them you feel you gain something interesting, maybe inspirational, that you gain some knowledge, confidence and maybe you discovered something completely new. Uh, I hope this video will be exactly this. I hope you will break this blank page with me today with your watercolors. Whether you have the very very cheap china set or you have beautiful Kuretake, more expensive one or Prima or Jane Davenport, whichever you have, whatever you have, feel free to use what you have around around your craft room or kitchen room, wherever you sit and paint and create. I know that watercolors could be scary, as you know, and if you're watching my videos, watercolors are my new love since months and months, and I'm so excited to try it, uh, to do and show you some new way of breaking a blank page with watercolors. We're learning together this process, so I hope you will grab some paints, grab some paper and brush and you will do some magic with me today. So let's do it! Mm, we will start off by dipping our brush into the water and grabbing some watercolor. Not too much pigment, you don't have to worry about how much pigment you're gonna pick up, no. And you don't, it's okay if you have it not fully uh, dry, if you have water on top of your circle that it's not fully dry, that's fine. Relax about that. Maybe some orange would be nice. And the idea is to kind of make sure that um, the circles are not directly one under another, basically. Um, maybe this yellow. Maybe this yellow. Maybe somewhere here. There we go. Um, I'm using those are Kuretake watercolors, but as I said, feel free to use any colors and watercolors you have. I had a little sneeze, so I had to <laughs> stop the video. Okay, maybe next one could be beautiful blue. Mm -hmm. Maybe some purple. some purple. It's so quiet. It's quite early in the morning, I have to say. Not my usual time to record, but hey, <laughs> the idea came. I couldn't wait. <laughs> I could not wait, literally. I'm gonna apologize you for my sneezes again if you hear me sniffing and sneezing and stuff because I, I still have blocked nose for some reason. I like that. I absolutely love that actually. And it is perfect to what I have tried before. I have tried before a little little page to see if my idea is actually, you know, nice and fun and correctish. Uh yeah, I leave it at that. I leave it at that. So now the magic will happen. And the magic is we are going to spray it's just the water here spray into our circles oops we could leave it at that to dry and it would be beautiful that's the idea maybe as well but we are gonna tilt our page hey and we ah oh, look at that and we're gonna have some gorgeous startup for our flowers to doodle on them I'm gonna wipe that off, <laughs> although it's so cute, isn't it? Wait, maybe instead of wiping that, I'm gonna just dip in some watercolor paper here in it. Oh, no waste, isn't it? No waste. <laughs> no waste can be done. Okay, so we have our flowers kind of here ready. To, to be used, ready to uh, doodle on them. Let's wait and let's let's wait for this to dry first. Mm, 
as you can see our flowers are dry now time to make them pretty take time to doodle a little bit and the way you can do that oh there's so many ways let's start with simple circles I'm using this one is micron and uh, there's another one pigment liner SDA um, there's so many permanent markers on the market I'm quite happy with those uh, I have to say and we have kind of our flower, first flower ready. And what about the stem? Can you see? You can. And we can add some whimsical um, <laughs> little leaves. You know, when it comes to drawing and doodling, I think none of us will feel for it unless you try it and I mean it this time because uh, I watch so many amazing people drawing doodling and I think oh I would never do that oh this is not for me but then I'm kind of doodler since some time now and the more I do my hand is better in terms of be having a straight lines or things like that and definitely my what's the word my um confidence grew because of that so i think my advice would be just do it just create just try to <laughs> enjoy and don't be afraid because um if you're gonna compare yourself to the professional doodlers <laughs> those who are amazing at it like there's no point of doing it we are who we are and we just enjoy the way as we do our art and that's the main thing so i i love the fact that in this case you really can do so much and door is open whatever you fancy plus this is such a great technique with the um circles and splash and you know uh lift tilting lifting your page and this could be a wonderful wonderful thing for kids as well for kids art but also for uh, older people i got recently under my painting with string video a beautiful comment from a lady a big hello hello to you she said she is in a retired home I think or something like that basically <laughs> she said that uh, this is a great technique and great video for others to use it from uh, from that place so I do believe that them kind of techniques they're so free and so easy and you don't have to be very precise about it but actually uh, well it's nice when things are tidy enough as in you know if you make in circle make kind of sure it's uh, circle-ish but it's not really about being even and stuff like that because um, when you look at the whole picture when everything is finished 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 it really does give this amazing impression and nobody is looking at those small tiny tiny details so please just doodle away and uh, oh I, I'm gonna show you the markers because I'm sure you will be asking again let me grab something else to show you <coughs> uh, Oh yes, those are microns and they are as far as I, I as far as I think oh yeah. Microns are the most known, but I'm using drawing as well, which if you look I've I've said it before, if you look at them they look exactly the same, the packaging and all. So microns or drawing and drawings I purchased them on, on internet somewhere on eBay or somewhere like that, Amazon, I can't remember. So basically look around and also try to find what suits your budget and those are good when it comes to budget they weren't expensive the whole set of eight or ten sizes was I can't remember I got them quite a long time ago but let's 
say it was five euro instead of nine or ten for the the more known. So, you know, it's it's nice. I wouldn't be myself if I wouldn't do a little circles. You know, I love circles, so I'm gonna have this here and there. Okay, what else could we do? There's so much you can do and that's what kind of I wish you to see as well. You can uh, be uh, really free when it comes to um, when it comes to drawing and just let go and actually drawing, doodling. It's very relaxing, therapeutic, 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 whatever. A difficult word to say for sure. Yes. So as you can see, um, oh, another thing I wanted to actually say to you because um, I got some comments under recent videos. Uh, some of you are suggesting to me things, oh, could you do this video or that video? And I love hearing from you. But some of you obviously have not seen other videos and you asking for videos that are already there. So I refer you to other videos, same for the watercolors. There is at least six of them or something like that since I'm playing around. I will give you a link below. I made a playlist as well so for you to, for easier to, for you to find it much easier. And most definitely have a look. I will try to give you a link at the end of this video as well for your better finding basically. I'm not, as you can see, I'm talking to you and I'm not really concentrating on where this project is going because I just want to have a little bit of fun and just enjoy the enjoy the free way of doodling and that's it. That's my goal for today. Just have fun, relax. What else we can do here? What about... What about... <laughs> maybe... Some bigger circles. Yeah. And this is uh, <laughs> really... Something simple enough for kids even, which is great. Many of you is asking me as well what to do with kids and I think this is fabulous technique. And how simple and not messy at all, not messy at all. Also on the internet, you can, if you go on Pinterest, there is so many beautiful inspirations of doodling, drawing ideas, zentagles, the whole subject is there for you to discover. I absolutely love this because it just gives me this, um, I don't know, it, I'm very happy seeing this happy go lucky page and just to kind of um, what can I say? Just not overthink anything. Plus, if you, if I'm looking at it now, I'm thinking it looks very professional, isn't it? But look, it's just a little doodling. It's nothing, nothing that you couldn't do, isn't it? I'm, I'm going slowly. I'm not <clears throat> trying to come up with any sensational ideas. It's just, you know, just little drawings. And it's nice when you can kind of trying to be a little bit of crazy in it. So, you know, draw whatever comes to your mind. And let go and be a child again. That's it. That's it. And even if something is not, you know, precise-ish as you wish for it to be, that's fine. You can do it next time. I'll show you a page that I've done earlier on when I was just trying to do the and just just to see whether I love it or like it. I feel that this little family should have something in common and that in common will be a little a little something on their head. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Plus, most definitely more little bubbles. Bubbles are la nice. 
and again random but not random I'm trying to see where this could look nice and and also splashes in the last video I said I'm gonna do splashes and I forgot <laughs> so if I forget this time to make splashes it's possible I'll forget now another thing you can do is fill in those black um, those let's say circles in this case with black you can you can leave some uh, untouched again up to you you know you can you can do whatever you like I always repeat this to you my main goal is uh, sit down do it enjoy it make it yours and definitely let me know tag me in your projects tag me in your pages on your Instagram or Facebook I really need to see it <laughs> I would love to see it I I always try to see all your makes come and comment and enjoy uh, enjoy it with you so please 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 do let me know when you make it when it was inspirational for you because it's so important when I make those videos uh, to see your trials this is my reward reward that I know I, it was fun enough inspirational to the point that led you to actually do it so what better can you have you know um I absolutely adore it I'm sorry for being kind of pr praising myself but I adore this whimsical little such a simple thing it actually looks to me a little like as, the, uh, as if they heads people uh, in in like hundred years that this is how we will look <laughs> we will have the slim bodies huge heads and these antennas like I, I'm sorry but I, I, I see this as a little what's the word um, the people that are in the sky the oh, in the cosmos in <laughs> aliens yeah I see them as alien planets I don't know I have big imagination to be very honest but that's that's how I operate I love um, <laughs> I love imagining things now I could leave that doodling for you to to do it yourself and not keep you that long at my desk but the last video yet again when I posted it was five minute challenge uh, journal page <laughs> many of you said oh we love when you chat and we love your long videos so this time I thought okay I'm not gonna leave out the doodling I'm gonna actually keep it uh, in the video and trying to chit 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 chat to you so um so you will have time to doodle with me I love that I love 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 absolutely love that when you doodle with me when you paint with me when you try do things uh, when I do it uh, when you create with me basically that's that's my that's my uh, my my reward my joy but I really do believe we are kind of done and dusted here except the white splashes which I'm not sure we need do we <laughs> maybe even black splashes let me see let me see before I do the splashes or anything I think I'm missing some some bit of leafies here so I'm gonna do uh, some tiny leaves here oh this one is kind of bigger <laughs> that's okay yeah I think I was missing those leaves here because yeah because are you already drawing? Tell me you are painting and drawing with me. Tell me, tell me that. I need to know. I need to know. Splashes. Let's do some white splashes. Eh. More. More paint. There we go. Almost oh, definitely I love my splashes. Of course I do. <laughs> I need some white in my life always. You can't see but I'm gonna bring you closer so you will see. Let me show you. Okay, again, I'm concentrating on top more than anything, but you can see. Just it's it's a tiny touches because it's about tiny touches, <laughs> basically. Uh, and black, we need some black, a little bit of black. Just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of draw doodling writing I don't think I oh that's too much that's okay I don't think I've done 
much of it before but I will do some I've, I've done a little bit of doodling there I uh, know drawing well journaling writing whatever <laughs> and That's it! I think we are done. I think we are done. Maybe some title. How about some sticker? Yeah. Just... I have it. <laughs> Just start. Oh. Just start and break this blank page. <laughs> I think we are done here. I'll show you. I'll show you another practice page. I have been doing it. It's a little different, but it's just an idea for you when I was joining the circles together and making it just different. And that's my practice page, which is quite alike ish to this one. Anyway, I do hope, I really do hope you you will find it uh, fun and inspirational and super easy, simple, quite fast as well as you can see. Uh, and you will try it, please promise me you will actually try it. Oh, water, sorry. <laughs> uh, please promise me you will try it. I would love to see your makes, I would love to hear from you. Let me know, please do let me know. And by the way, this looks like a bee, isn't it? <laughs> bee body. Thank you so much everyone. I love you loads and I will chat to you super soon. Oh yeah, don't forget to share this video with your friends if you found it fun and inspirational. Uh, yeah, thank you so much. Bye. Bye bye.